100 things you didn't know about Minecraft. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Anyways, here we go. In Minecraft, you will not take any fall damage if you land on sweet berry bushes. You will, however, start taking damage from the bushes themselves when you land on them, so be careful. Baby foxes are so small that when they swim in Minecraft, they will eventually take damage from drowning and die. This is so sad, man, but I had to show it for the purpose of the video. I'm sorry, guys. The maximum amount of blocks you are able to jump in vanilla Minecraft is nine blocks. This can be done by drinking a potion of swiftness, a potion of leaping, and a potion of slow falling. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft in the 1.5 update, there was a bug in the game where Gus would shoot diamond helmets at the player instead of their regular fireball. I mean, if a Gus was shooting diamond helmets at me, I wouldn't complain. It's free diamonds after rule? Well, sort of. The pumpkin stems on regular pumpkins will always face in the northwest direction of your Minecraft world, making them very useful for navigation. Have you ever wondered why there's this small room above the main part of a desert pyramid? Well, I'll tell you. So the second floor of the desert temple actually allows you to perfectly build a fully powered beacon, which is so satisfying. Whether this was done on purpose, I'm not sure, but the second floor is perfect for a beacon. The Piglin Brute mob drops the highest amount of experience points out of any non-boss mob in Minecraft, dropping a total of 20 experience. I mean, I should hope so. These guys are so annoying to kill. The bobbing animation that the Strider makes while walking was initially created by accident. However, the developers thought it was, quote, quirky and fun, so it was added as a feature. The Iron ingot is used in 34 crafting recipes in Minecraft, which is more recipes than any other item in the game. Wooden planks in Minecraft take a close second place as they are used in 33 crafting recipes. In Minecraft, there is currently a glitch in the game when it comes to shields. So if you hold up a shield while entering a nether portal, then something very strange will happen. So once you are in the nether, your shield will always be in use, even when you're not right clicking on it to hold it up, which is very useful. This is because you can still sprint and use your weapons while the shield is protecting you, so yeah, a very good glitch. If a fox attempts to pounce and kill a chicken in a snow biome, then the fox can get stuck in snow. You okay there, fox? It looks like you could do with a bit of help. A safe and effective way to get enderpearls from endermen is to trap them in a boat. This is because once the Enderman is trapped in the boat, they cannot teleport away, which means you're just free to kill them for the Enderpearls. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a bit bad. I'm sorry, Enderman. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, slimes were not given the ability to swim, so whenever they entered the water, they would just slowly sink to the bottom and eventually drown, which made me very very sad. But don't worry, in Minecraft today, slimes have had swimming lessons and they can swim around and attempt to kill you, which is just lovely. When the player places down an enchanting table and uses it for the first time, the first level 1 enchantment for a bow will always be power 1. In Minecraft Bedrock Edition, there is an exclusive feature in the game when it comes to campfires. So if the player stands on an unlit campfire while they're on fire, Fire, then the campfire will actually become lit, which is a nice attention to detail, to be honest. In Minecraft Java Edition, however, this feature is not a thing. This is the first ever screenshot released for wolves in Minecraft. As you can see, they have noticeable differences, such as having different fur colour on the head part of the texture. This screenshot got me thinking, do you think Minecraft should add different wolf textures just like the cats? Let me know in the comments below. Despite the netherite pickaxe being the strongest and most durable pickaxe in Minecraft, the gold pickaxe is still the pick that mines blocks the fastest. In Minecraft, it is actually possible to get out of the world border by using boats. Just simply place a boat next to the world border, get into the boat, and bam, you'll be outside the world border. Be careful though, because you might die. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in the early versions of Minecraft in-dev, the crafting 
crafting table block was not yet added into the game. So did this mean players could not craft items at the time? Well, not exactly. So in InDev, if you press the B key on your keyboard, you would open a 3x3 crafting interface as if you were using a regular crafting table. Additionally, when you opened your regular inventory at the time by pressing I, you'll notice that there's no 2x2 crafting grid to craft smaller items. So yeah, despite there being no physical crafting table in Minecraft InDev, you could still craft items by pressing B. So we all know that if you hit a zombified piglin, then things will get a little bit crazy, as all the other zombie piglins will become hostile towards you. And if you ask me, that's not fun at all, it's just very scary. However, if you manage to kill a zombified piglin in one hit, then the rest of them won't become aggro towards you, which is a very relieving feeling. Yeah, that's right, I bet you had no idea that I killed your mate just a few seconds ago. Anyways, let's just move on before he thinks I'm sus. If a creeper is inflicted with a potion effect and proceeds to explode, it will leave behind a lingering form of said potion, which in my case is poison. In Minecraft multiplayer, if your friend crouches by the ocean, then the water itself becomes see-through when you look through your friend's name tag, which is rather strange. Thanks for the help, Derpy Whale. I'm able to see underwater a lot easier. Wait, speaking of water, get back in the water. You're a whale. In Minecraft, you are able to create snow golems underwater, but it's a pretty pointless task as they'll just instantly start dying. I'm sorry, mate. I had to do it for the purpose of the video. Please forgive me. However, for some reason, you are not able to create iron golems underwater, even though the spawn concept is the same as a snow golem. What gives, man? I'm just staring at a pumpkin. This isn't what I want. I want an iron golem to hold a poppy out for me. When the sign was first added into Minecraft in 2009, they could only be spawned in as entities, and this was done by pressing the B key on your keyboard. Once spawned in, they would always say, this is a test of the signs, each line can be 15 characters. But yeah, these signs just look really, really weird as entities. As you know, if you have a dirt block on top of a chest, then you are not able to open it. However, if you use a hoe on the dirt, then you are in fact able to open the chest as you can see. The reason why I'm talking so quietly right now is because I'm recording this fact at four in the morning. Anyways, moving on. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, before version 1.8, the chiseled stone brick was considered to be one of the rarest blocks in the game. This was due to the chiseled stone brick not having a crafting recipe and could only be found naturally generated in a jungle temple structure, which are also quite rare as well. If you look closely at the hoglin's texture, you'll notice that it has one nostril bigger than the other. Looking good, hoglin? Wait, Wait, what are you doing? What are you, do what are you doing? Don't kill me. The only way to place any sort of water in the nether is by putting water in a cauldron. Not sure why or how this is possible, but fair enough. If you throw a trident with the loyalty enchantment while having a full inventory, then the trident will just follow the player around. Iron golems are not able to drown in water. You okay there, mate? I think he's fine. Putting an armor stand on top of a fence will cause the armor stand to float, which looks rather strange. When the Endermite was first added into Minecraft in version 1.8, they used the exact same model as the Silverfish mob, but was just a different colour. The feature of players being able to crawl in one block gaps was actually created by accident. However, Mojan liked this accidental feature so much that they decided to keep crawling in the game. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft in beta 1.8, a bug existed in the game in creative mode. So for some reason, players were able to hit mobs with their sword from a very long distance away, which was just a little bit weird. I mean, just look at this. How is this even possible? Grass paths are a great way to hide your items in Minecraft, as you can transport items into hoppers through the grass path due to them not being a full block. Brown mushrooms are unique as they will emit a light level of 1, whereas red mushrooms do not emit 
commit anything. If gravel falls onto soul sand, then the gravel will break. You can reduce a creeper's detection range by 50% if you are wearing a creeper head. I guess the creeper thinks you're one of them. Oh wait, never mind, he still wants to kill me. The crafting recipes for boats are the only recipes that can be unlocked in the recipe book without having any items. All you do is just simply jump into water. When Minecraft became 10 years old, all cakes in the game had a number 10 on it, which looks like this. Bats will still fly away from the player if they are under the invisibility effect. I mean, bats in real life have amazing hearing, so it makes sense. Gravel will drop flint 100% of the time if you use the Fortune 3 enchantment. In Minecraft, it takes 13 long, painful seconds for the player to fall through one cobweb, which is just... Can someone break this, please? Items in Minecraft are even more painful as they take a long 24 seconds to fall through a single cobweb. Anytime now, I want my diamonds. When baby pandas sneeze in Minecraft, they have a 0.1% chance to drop a slime ball. In Minecraft, you are able to duplicate two block tall flowers by using bone meal. Just simply right click on the tall flower with bone meal and bam, you can get an infinite amount of that flower. When end portals were first added into Minecraft, they originally looked like this, appearing blue with transparent patches. I'm not gonna lie, they look kinda cool. If the player generates a Minecraft world, then there is a 1 in 280 trillion chance of you generating that exact same world seed for a second time. So yeah, very rare, but still possible. There are exactly 233 bookshelves in a single library within a stronghold. This means the player can yield up to 699 books when they destroy every bookshelf within one library. In the 15W31A snapshot for the 1.9 combat update, the player could respawn the ender dragon by building a creeper face made out of clay. Now, this feature was of course a placeholder, but it's still really cool. If an iron golem is low on health, then you can heal them by right-clicking on them with an iron ingot. You feeling better now, mate? I love iron golems, man. The end gateway portal that generates after defeating the ender dragon are usually entered when you throw an ender pearl at it. However, an easier way to travel through the portal is to simply place a trapdoor on the bedrock and force yourself in the crawling position. Once you've done that, just crawl through and bam, you can find an end city. If you look closely at the corner rail texture, you'll notice that it closely resembles an iron pickaxe, which is quite cool actually. There are many different types of slabs in Minecraft, but the first slab ever created was the dirt slab, which looks like this. We never even got the dirt slab, so rest in peace. The bedrock texture in Minecraft is just the stone texture, but with a really high contrast. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, cats were instead obtained as a pet by taming an ocelot in a jungle biome. But then in version 1.14, stray cats became their own separate mob and spawn in villagers. In the snapshot phase for the 1.9 combat update, a glitch existed when it came to boats. So if the player placed a boat on a slime block, waited a few seconds, then got into the boat, you would be launched up into the air. Also, the longer you waited to get into the boat, the higher you would be launched, which was so cool. This is the first ever screenshot for a Minecraft stronghold structure. As you can see, the stronghold looks rather different and has also generated on the surface, which is quite a change to the stronghold holds we have today. If you look closely at your hotbar in Minecraft, you'll notice that each slot is using the sand texture. I won't lie, this blew me away when I first noticed this. Piglins are able to open and close doors, which is actually quite terrifying to be honest. So we all know that when an animal dies to fire, it drops its cooked variant of the food. However, when an animal dies to a campfire, it drops the raw variant of the food, which is rather strange strange to be honest. The crawling feature in Minecraft uses the exact same animation as the swimming animation and both look awesome. The Unbreaking 3 book appears in both the tools tab and the weapons tab in the creative inventory. The music disc 11 will play for exactly 1 minute and 11 seconds. In version 1.14.4 there was a glitch with boats where each jump you made on top of a boat, full damage was added for when you walked on land. 
So for example, if I jump four times on top of the boat and then walk on land, I will take two hearts of damage. So yeah, with this glitch, you could essentially kill you or your friend by jumping on boats. The default collar color for a tamed wolf is red. However, in version 1.8, the default collar color for a tamed wolf was changed to orange for some reason. Trying to generate a seed using the number zero will just give you a random seed number. This means that getting the number zero seed is impossible, right? Well, actually, no. So if you generate a world using the following seed, then type slash seed within the world, you'll notice that the seed number is in fact zero, which shows that it is possible to get the zero seed. When the killer bunny was first added into Minecraft, it had a one in 2,500 chance to naturally spawn in your world. However, nowadays, it's just an unused mob and you can only spawn it in using commands, which is a bit of a shame to be honest. If you smelt a wet sponge in a furnace, then put a bucket in the furnace, then the bucket will be filled with water when the sponge is finished smelting. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, in the alpha and beta days of the game, skeletons used to hold their bows like this, which looked really, really weird. Sheep are still able to eat grass through slabs. How on earth are you doing this, mate? The rarest biome in Minecraft is the Modified Jungle Edge, which is an extremely rare variation of the jungle biome. This biome is so rare that it only covers a millionth or 0.0001% of the Minecraft overworld. As some of you know, when chests were first added into Minecraft, they were a full block looking like this. But did you guys also know that the old double chest had a black outline going down the middle, which looked like this? Double chests in Minecraft today do not have this black outline. The elytra wings are actually a reference to the wing cap item Mario wears in Super Mario 64. Great game, by the way. When Endstone was first added into Minecraft, it used to drop cobblestone as a placeholder. Cats in Minecraft are slightly smaller than ocelots. In Minecraft Bedrock Edition, there is an exclusive feature where leaves will turn to a white frosty color when it is snowed. Knowing. Okay, that is awesome. Why can't Java Edition have this feature, man? This is the first ever screenshot of spiders. They were originally brown and had black eyes, whereas in Minecraft today, they're black and have red eyes. The pig is the oldest existing passive mob in Minecraft. If a mob is holding a totem of undying, then it will actually work the same as it does for the player when they're about to die, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Fossils are one of the rarest gems generated structures in Minecraft as they only have a 1 in 64 chance to generate per chunk. Pressing F3 and F4 on your keyboard allows you to switch between all the game modes in Minecraft. There is a 5% chance for a fox to spawn with an emerald in its mouth, which is quite a lucky find if you ask me. You are not able to see through clouds when you are below them, but you can see through them if you are above them. Very strange. I forgot to do one of the facts while making this video, so here I am doing it while half asleep. So, item frames in Minecraft use the same texture as the birch planks texture. See? Okay, I'm going to bed now. Back in the earlier days of Minecraft, pumpkins used to naturally spawn with their face already carved. In Minecraft today, they don't, and you instead have to carve your own pumpkin face with shears. If you go into game mode spectator mode, then left click on a painting, you can see your Minecraft world through the eyes of a, well, painting. Standing on soul sand next to lava will actually set the player on fire. Ow, this hurts quite a lot. The reason why creepers are their bright green colour is because Minecraft creator Notch wanted them to blend in and be camouflaged with Minecraft's old world terrain, which at the time was a bright green colour. And finally on our list, the Ravager uses the same sounds as a villager, but they're more low and grumpy. <sighs> Cheer up, mate. Wait, 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 wait. Don't kill me! 